Hello, Salaamu Alaikum, hello, today is Juma. welcome to this vlog, 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 I hope you guys are good, Alhamdulillah, it's Friday, even though it's, uh, I'm gonna go print some documents, and then after the documents, whoa, that guy's speeding right behind me, look, he's gonna fly, right here, whoops, my keys fell, whoops, there he is. There he goes. Flying. <laughs> Who vlogs while driving? Eh? How many times I tell you guys I'm last time I'm gonna hold the phone and then vlog. Guys, please make dua for me to get my braces. Like, you see, the problem is, it's not the braces, it's the problem. The problem is my parents. They're so, so, my, my parents are like the only parents I think, or it's only Arabs and Turks that are like this. They get worried so bad about you. They care about like more than what you are supposed to care. You know what I'm saying? More, much more. Like if you're driving, why are you going out? What are you gonna do? It's night, it's too late, it's bad. And it's like 9 p.m. This is how my parents are. Why do I always forget my stand? I don't forget it, it's in the other car. I need two stands. One for this car, one for that car, and we're all good, right? Am I right? Say yes! Imagine my parents see this vlog. This guy's crazy, our son is crazy. We gotta throw him in an orphanage. People looking at me vlogging, so weird, you know what I'm saying? Look at this, like, war zone going on here look everybody fights <laughs> everybody fights for the lane like seriously i'm gonna go to like the most crowdiest place in this area it's called doha but i'm not in doha i'm not in qatar i'm in saudi arabia you guys see this place this is doha right here doha okay i'm gonna stop vlogging because so many cars and i'm this car is like down, so I can't see anything. No, I'm going first. I'm going first. Haha, <laughs> this is how you gotta race, man. Okay, my dad's gonna kill me if he sees this vlog. I'm sorry, daddy. By the way, guys, I'm like an Indian right now. It's like I'm in the car without no AC. Like, I didn't even turn the AC on. Indians do that. I'm sorry, but this is what we Arabs know. Indians do this a lot. Once I was going to UAE with an Indian car, and man, we had to pay like 400 riyals each uh, each passenger, or three, like 1,200 for that. He like ripped us off, and man, he doesn't even have AC in the car. He doesn't even want to open it. It's like working and everything. He doesn't want to open it, saving money, saving gas. I'm not saying all Indians are like that. I'm just saying some, and I'm not sure which ones exactly also there's a car behind me you guys can see and I'm driving so slow let's drive a bit fast gonna make a u-turn so yeah that's what happened the story was funny not talking about all Indians there are Indians that are richer than me this is what I'm saying like I can't judge everyone the whole nation but Indians in general what we Arabs know they don't like spending they like saving so much and then you see them having mansions in their hometown, mashallah. You guys see this place? This place, I get scared driving here. Like, look how the cars, they park outside, see? Look at this guy, got it. And cars on the left side too, see? Look, look how they're parking. This is how it's always like this, man. Look how this guy, gotta give him space. Then he doesn't go. See what I'm saying? Where's the key shop, guys? Find the key shop with me. Even though this vlog is gonna go out late. Maybe I cross it. This is a, like the worst thing to happen if you cross the shop. Man, look, you turn, turn right, man. You guys saw that? That's how you do it. Saudi's here. Where's the key shop? Did I miss it, guys? Okay, I'm gonna stop vlogging, seriously. I'm gonna have an accident, I feel like, if I keep vlogging, because I can't focus. They're not beeping at me. Not at me. No one's beeping. No one's behind me. 
See how you gotta park guys? You gotta park right here, like not inside because people will take your spot behind too. They'll block you. You see guys, this is what I meant. See this guy? He parked right there, taking the other guy's spot. Where's this thing? We gotta find the, the book shop, uh, shop first. So we can print the documents that we need to print. I need to print some documents. Because I have three exams and I didn't study for anyone. I need to print those documents for the exam. Those are our petrol stations in Saudi. Look how messed up they look. Castro. I just finally finished. It's 10.30 almost. Like I finished maybe in one hour, I think. Maybe now. No one asked, no one called, no one even said salam when I was leaving. You see, my, my family doesn't care about me, huh? I'm still in Doha. I'm gonna leave Doha soon, you know? I'm not talking about Qatar. <laughs> Gary Grandic here, you know. Finally getting out of Doha now. We leave from the bank again. Bank. See, this is the bank. Bye, Doha city. Not Qatar, huh? Not Qatar. Guitar. <laughs> Guitar. Who calls it Guitar? It's Qa, Qa. Not G. There's no G in Arabic. Like, a Gazma. I'm sorry guys, I know for the past, you see, El Doha shopping center. Sorry, I'm, I left the steering wheel just to show you and the car's behind me. So guys, I'm sorry that for the past few days, I'm not that, you, you guys could notice, like I don't need to say anything, but you guys know that I'm not fully happy, right? Does it show or it doesn't? Because I can see it through my eyes, you know? It's like I'm sad, but I'm happy, alhamdulillah. Like, I can't do much, so that's why I'm happy. I bought a lot of stuff. Um, I printed a lot of documents for uni. Look at this guy driving wrong side. He went the wrong side from the U-turn and he continue so I have uh, three exams on Sunday and I hate exams I hate exams more than you know projects or assignments or presentations it's like the most thing that I hate in a university and what else did I do I I bought some stuff, drinks and everything. I bought lots of drinks. And uh, what else? Did I, buy? I know I bought something. I bought a wire for my mother's uh, computer. She wants a computer, so I'm fixing her computer. And I have nothing to do with computers. Not my major, nothing. But we're fixing it. And. I made a copy of the key that I need, so that's what I did, I guess, all those things. I was supposed to go to the cafe in a bit, but it was it's kind of late and I'm tired. I don't feel like I'm moody today. It's like every five seconds I'm really moody, you know? But guys, please pray for me to get my braces and pray for my parents to accept me getting braces you know I tried getting braces when I was like uh, 13 years old and I still didn't get it that's why I don't smile I don't like showing my teeth and I mean everyone does it it's not like I'm the only guy with you know uh, crooked teeth everyone most mostly everyone has those kind of teeth but I just didn't have it done. I wanted it done, but my parents are too picky. They're worried. They don't like any 
conductor too. I hope the camera hits this guy. They don't like anyone to do my teeth, which are good parents. Guys, I miss someone so much, you know? Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please rate, comment, and subscribe like you always do. And by the way, for the Jum'a khutbah, I didn't really have, I don't really have any much to say about the Jum'a khutbah, so I'm gonna make something out of me, I'm gonna say. So a couple of days ago, I stayed awake till Fajr time. And before Fajr prayer, I went, by the way, to pray Fajr in the mosque. But before I went to Fajr prayer, I thought of something. I thought, where was my friends that I used to be with so close to? in UAE, where did they go? I was asking myself. So I decided to go and check Facebook. I don't have Facebook, so I went to my fan page and then I wrote like their names. I wrote one of their names and I kept checking mutual friends because they're my old friends before. So I went and checked and it was so incredibly amazing what I saw. I saw all my friends that I was with in UAE, I was like a really bad guy at, the, at that time. I used to swear, I used to bully people. I wasn't the person I was right now, but I was like still religious. I used to pray when it was time to pray. I used to, I used to be the only person that I know that used to go in the mosque of the school and pray. I used to pray with drivers, bus drivers. And it was so like interesting at that time because I was like really religious that sometimes even the teacher says something like relaxing in Islam like you're not you don't really have to if you miss a prayer but I was like the type of person like how could you miss a prayer even though I used to miss prayers I used to question myself how can you miss a prayer so anyways the other day I went on Facebook and I was checking through old friends and I see them all in the West, like most of them, like a university in America, a university in Canada, a university in Jordan, a university in Australia. And I saw them and I remembered some stories that they told me before I actually left them fully. And some that didn't even tell me stories. One of my best friends, he went to Canada, okay? And when he went to Canada, he was a really good Muslim, he was with me. He used to pray with me, even though he used to pray with shorts and you're not allowed to wear shorts and pray, but like shorter than the knees, that's what I'm saying, shorts. And he was like really good. He's still good, but I saw something like he went to Canada and he started working in Subway. And in Subway in Canada, he serves people pork. And he's a Muslim, he prepares the sandwiches. And it's not halal anyways, the meat. That's one of the jobs that he worked. It's sad, but everyone makes mistakes. I make mistakes, everyone does, but you see, it's like a mistake. Like, I wouldn't work there even if I knew. Like, that's like a mistake you can obviously uh, avoid doing. Another friend, one of my really close friends, he went to London and he studied there. And last time I spoke with him, he was a Muslim. He was a really, really good Muslim. He was from Iraq also. And I was asking about him one day and then he told me he was atheist. Just stood there and was so shocked and upset because this guy was really close to me. And we used to protect each other. We were like really close brothers, but he changed completely. He stopped believing in God, the creator, the one who created me and you. It was so shocking and upsetting that time. And I had to delete him and block him because God will God wouldn't appreciate me talking with him anymore because in our religion, if someone converts, it's like he's be betraying the truth. Sorry guys, I closed the light because there are people walking and I don't want them to see me vlogging in a car <laughs> that's parked right out of my house. It's awkward. My brother's leaving the house. I just came. Let's continue at length. So I went out with my brother. How weird is that? Starting from the car, and then I went out with him. Look at this. The whole shelf is gonna fall. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm finally home. 
I'm just gonna show you the gifts that I got for my dad and my mother. I didn't really get anything for my dad, but I'm gonna show you what I got for my mother. And then I'll go home, I'll charge my phone a bit, then I'll continue showing you my things that I bought for the past three, four hours, and then we'll end the vlog with the religious talk. So, this is for my mother. The milk is for us. This is the wire that she wanted, and those are some shoes I got for her. Really nice shoes, I guess. And my dad. Some donuts and a Pepsi cap. <laughs> I didn't find anything for him, so that's why. Right. Alright, guys, my phone just charged a bit, so I'm gonna show you the products. I'm gonna do the video, and then I could end the vlog. It's 2 30 a.m. right now, so let's do it quick. First, I printed the documents. I wanted to print this. I wanted to print this. Uh, paper because I want to color like which countries I've been to and which ones I want to go to. This is my essay. I have to talk about death penalty or capital punishment. This is my study sheets for the exam. It's, it's more than what you think. I still didn't study anything. That's only one exam by the way. I have another one. This is death penalty also. And then nice drawings of the crumbs, drawings. So I'm gonna probably cut the paper and then stick them on the wall. Yeah. Those are the things I bought. They were so like I really love those brands. If you guys know them, Polo. So you guys should check them out if you don't. This is how I smell. I smell always good. So those are good. Those are good for showers. This is perfume. And I also got this. I'm gonna set it up. Look, it has all kinds of... Uh, here, you can see like kinds of... I don't know how to explain it. I'm so tired. And some bulb lights, even though I have enough, but they were good. Like, so I took them. And curtain for the bathroom even though I have one but this is even better I think so yeah and the key I made this key I needed it so I made it so yeah those are the things that I got I'm gonna explain the story of my past now and then I'll end the vlog what's this I think it's from the glasses I was wearing it's not like hair or anything because my eyebrows are here but this... I don't know anyways, I, I look Indian so let's go back to the story <clears throat> so one of my close Iraqi friends he turned into an atheist and then I deleted him and I left him and then I saw another friend that was so close to me she was... it was a she so a female and she used to wear the hijab, she removed the hijab. I saw her Instagram pictures and I didn't know her from the beginning. I knew her from her name, her username. And I was like uh, upset because like those people returned, like they went far from religion. But when I went to the mosque at Fajr time, while I was praying, I felt so sad. Like God bless me and you guys couldn't realize it. Like you think of the past and all the people that you know, and they think Saudi Arabia is like a bad country because it's so strict and everything. You have that feeling inside of you that you're really like blessed and you're sad at the same time. So I started like weeping inside the prayer. Like I was thinking like why did Allah choose me and not them? And I'm like so blessed alhamdulillah. Sometimes you don't get a lot of things that you want in life but sometimes you don't realize what you have so alhamdulillah for everything Allahumma may Allah make us all on the straight path and closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's a really blessing and you won't know how it feels unless you experience it I was one of those guys that thought that religion was useless from the beginning and look where I am today I laugh at the people that I used to be Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and talk. 
please rate, comment and subscribe. Please share this guys and let's reach like 20 likes if we could. I know I'm not asking for much inshallah. 20 likes, I'll feel happy, you guys feel happy. Be like a family, everything goes good. So peace in the Middle East, yeah.